Hey guys, it's Kara here and I'm back with another video. Today I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus as a graphic tablet, similarly to my regular graphic tablet, the Wacom Intuos, right here using Virtual Tablet PC. So let's go on right on to it. All right, first thing first, I already hooked it up on my main PC, but I'll be going over the process again and connecting it to my laptop to show you guys how exactly to connect it and get it to work. And first impression is that the pressure sensitivity does work well, a lot better than I thought it would. But the only thing is it's still laggy. I did pay for the $5 version that did improve it a slightly tiny bit, but um, I, I didn't. I couldn't connect it with the other mode, meaning, uh, let me show you guys right here, meaning um, Bluetooth or USB. USB what it wasn't working on my main computer and I don't have Bluetooth on this computer, so we'll see how it works on my laptop. But so far, this has been a really interesting experience and it works, oh man, the pressure sensitivity works well with Clip Studio Paint. So let's get right into the tutorial. Make sure you have the app downloaded, whether it's the free version if you're just testing it out or you end up liking the $5 version like I bought right here. Then the next thing you do is go on this website and it's Sunnyside Soft and basically just look up virtual tablet and it's the first link right here and it'll take you to the download page if you just scroll down download virtual tablet and then click download virtual tablet for PC this one the server application link you need that one because the one in the Windows Store is basically just the version on your your phone it's, it's not it's not the same thing and then after that I would go ahead and unzip it And there you go, that's the installation on the PC part. Great, same deal, go back on the app and let's click Wi-Fi and my laptop should show up now. And there we go. And rotate it this way. And now I have Clip Studio Paint open. We're gonna test it out. There's some pressure, but there's not even, there's, uh, there's not varying thickness of, of my lines. And now the way to fix that is to go into the settings, at least for Clip, Stain, Clip Paint Studio, they do let you play around with the pressure settings. And you're just gonna click that and I'll just recalibrate it. So, um, sometimes just switching back and forth between the WinTab tablet, where it looks bad, and to the tablet PC helps it improve just drastically and again now we're back at weighing pressured lines instead of just whatever was going on before so in theory this is a really cool concept mainly because the pressure sensitivity actually works but there's a lot of latency that it just doesn't seem to be workable it's worse on my laptop because i'm using wi-fi so let's try the bluetooth function Let's just try connecting it via Bluetooth and see if that makes a difference. And then USB, if that even works. So click Bluetooth, I'll click my laptop. Let's see how much of a difference that it makes or if it makes it worse. Oh man, moving it is, oh my goodness. It's not even showing up. That is crazy. Come on, come on, anytime now, anytime. Well, I, I can say that Bluetooth is worse. Look how long it's, oh man, maybe you guys can't see. Let me try a bigger brush because it's taking so long just to do my lines. Oh, let's see, maybe if I just try, it's taking too long. Let me just use my, oh man. It's taking so long that it not even my, I can't even use my regular tra trackpad. All right, let's just disconnect and try that again. <laughs> That was crazy. Let me just make sure I'm on a bigger brush, right? A thicker one. Let me put the size of like one of these and let's try it again. So that I could just show you guys because it, it works really, really awfully. So let's just see. I drew this line on my phone and look how long it's taking. Like my hand's not even touching. Okay, so it's just, it just doesn't work. 
All right, let's try the USB plugged in option. The right, good thing about the USB option is that my phone is USB type C and my laptop is USB type C. And hopefully that can make a difference because USB type C has faster connection than regular USB. So let's just hope that it works. <laughs> Allow. Now we can go back. We're gonna try USB option. Yep, it fails. And let's see. You know what? Let me. It says to refresh the tablet PC. Where is it? Refresh. Let me click the enable logging. Oh man. Nope, still not working. Let's see, let me try it refresh again. And click always allow. And connect. Oh, it worked. It worked, guys. Okay, so I guess the trick is to make sure to enable logging. And I will have my USB debugging option turned on for developers. So if you guys want to know how to do that, I'll leave that in my the related blog post of this video. So let's just try it. First, let me clear. Oh man, it's already so slow. Let's clear the layer. Oh man, can I reach it? Can I reach it? No. Oh man. Wow, this is, uh, you guys could see, <laughs> it's mighty slow. So if it's not working for you guys, maybe it's for a good reason because I thought that USB type C is king, but nope, it's just simply not working. I can't even clear the layer. You know what? Let me just try to clear the layer manually. Will it even let me? Okay, let's clear the layer. Let's try that again. Oh man, this is so slow. Unbearably slow. More slow than anything that I've seen in a very long time. Okay, so USB debugging. Let's throw that out. Let's just go back to just simply using Wi-Fi. Because you know, that's unbearable, but it's not as bad as this. So let's just click Wi-Fi. And the reason the Wi-Fi doesn't work as good on this computer for me is because this computer is connected via Wi-Fi and my desktop computer is connected via Bluetooth. So the Wi-Fi is a lot faster on it. Oh man, this is acting slow again. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, maybe it, let's just try restarting my computer. Maybe they'll fix it because it's going slow on all three of them. So just to throw off any bias. But again, that's just showing you guys on how unstable this could be for it to be a real option. But it's still cool to try and see what the future could hold for drawing, t um, drawing programs on Android. And let's just try to connect again and hope for better luck this time. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh man, it's still so slow. I'm at least create. Oh, oh man, let me just uh, see. It's still moving. Okay, let me just create a, the canvas first at least. Let's just test this baby out. Oh man, so don't. I would not rely on this if your Wi Fi isn't the best, because my Wi Fi is just simply not. Uh, let me just stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go back on my desktop where I have an Ethernet cable plugged in and it works the best and the pressure sensitivity works just better. So just the fun of it. Hey guys, back on my computer. We're gonna try the USB option this time and I click the enable logging and I have all the everything set up so hopefully it works this time. Come on. Oh no, failed. Come on. I thought I you know what, let's just reconnect the cable again. Let's just hope. Maybe I'm too optimistic about this app. Let me click refresh again. Oh boy, come on. Okay, sadly, it's like, oh, oh, it worked, it worked. Right when I was about to give up and I say, like, oh, sadly, sorry, boys. Oh shit, oh man, is it slow again? Let me just, focus on the canvas and not try to control anything else all right um it's a little bit better on my pc but still major lag oh 
boy, this is just awful. But the pressure works a lot better on my PC. For some reason, I don't know why, um, I, I, I don't have the answers. I'm so sorry if it doesn't work for you guys too. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Wi-Fi option with my PC, it just doesn't work. Um, I must give this some credit for having the ghost lines. I guess this, it's cool or whatever. I'm gonna clear it and let's just go back and just try Wi-Fi. Man, it'll be really cool if this actually worked because I actually don't have a, a nice pen able. It'll be just really cool to use my favorite pen instead of my Intuos, which is not my favorite. So let's just try that again. But with Wi-Fi, we don't need this. Let's rotate it this way. Okay. See, it is a little bit faster. It's still slow. Come on, let me clear the layer. To speed up this video, let me just do it <laughs> this way. All right. No, oh, still major lag. I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. My lines are taking longer than anything to finish. So in conclusion, it's not worth the $5. I'm going to see if I could refund it. Because, <laughs> oh boy, I'm just so sorry. This just doesn't work. It, it the, per the pressure, the idea, everything's pretty cool. But I don't think this is worth it in 2020. I was really hoping that they probably worked on it a little bit more and uh, finish it and finalize but the the amount of lag is just unbearable. It's oh man it's it's worse than than th this last video that I did using my Cintiq because at least that one was usable a little bit. The lag wasn't oh major this bad but Guys, I just simply can't recommend this, but this was a really fun experience as I tried it on two different computers and I tried all the different modes. So hopefully <laughs> I was the, I, I, I went, I suffered all this so you guys don't have to. And um, I really enjoy it still. I still really enjoy the idea and concept. I just wish they polished it, fixed it up a lot more because the pressure works. The pressure works. Oh man, oh man, I still did that. I don't know what I did. <sighs> if you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, please hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!